Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video. Happy New Year 2023, first video of the year. And we are starting off with something not really that fun. <laughs> and what I mean by that is getting this window done or redone on the Telluride um, because my wife was getting out of the car. She had her laptop in her hand and she was getting out of the car and she ended up scratching the tint. So we are on our way to my tint shop to get the front driver redone. Um, not gonna really capture much of that, but I figured I would start the video off here in the morning because uh, I'm gonna be washing some cars today and most likely going to be doing a wash and talk on the STI. Also, I picked up a new pressure washer system, so I kind of been working all the details out on that, getting it set up with all quick disconnects and everything, so I gotta run over to the hardware store and get a specific fitting and we should be good to go. And then after that, uh, I'm probably gonna wash the Telluride. I'm not sure if I'm gonna capture that on film, but I'm definitely going to be watching the STI after that and doing a uh, wash and talk on that. So let's head over to the tin shop. Let's get this fixed up and then uh, I'll catch back up with you guys in the garage. All right, guys, so this is the new pressure washer. I was using my Greenworks 2000 PSI one for about four years. Picked this one up from a buddy. This is the Active 1.0. They just changed over to the 2.0, but I got this at a really good deal for my buddy so I wanted to try it out to see if even upgrading from the Greenworks was worth it so what I've been doing is actually getting different fittings so I got a quick disconnect for the hose right here then we come on the back I got a 90 with a quick uh, disconnect here that goes to the actual pressure washer hose so uh, I actually mounted it up to this shelf here it's just fake wood I got it from Lowe's it was like five bucks five or ten bucks or something and then I got some nice brackets that I mounted up on the wall here so you can see the brackets that I mounted and it's gonna sit right there and look really, really nice. The pressure washer hose is gonna come right behind here and hang on this um, L bracket here. I eventually wanna get a hose for the pressure washer hose, uh, but for now this will do. This is what I've been using for years on the other one. So uh, I'm gonna mount it up and uh, show you guys what it looks like. But so far, I'm really liking it. I just did some testing. It's much quieter than the previous one, which is amazing. The other one was very, very loud. So um, yeah, pretty cool. So let's get it mounted up. All right, guys, so mounted up, as you can see, it's up on the shelf, very, very sturdy. The power plug's right here. I'm just gonna run it over and plug it in when I need it. But uh, I got the pressure washer hose connected underneath with the 90 degree elbow, the pressure washer hose on the little L bracket here, my gun right here. I usually take that off to let all the water drain. Uh, but my last setup was much higher and I had to reach up way higher to turn it on and off. This is just literally right here, there's a button. Uh, right here they turn it on and off so really really clean uh, like i said i did some testing much quieter than the previous setup so i'm really really happy but the ultimate test will be obviously washing a car and uh, seeing how it does but i've heard great things about it so i'm happy uh, that i got a chance to try it out and uh yeah so let's go wash some cars all right guys so it is actually a few days later i got a chance to wash the telluride i haven't actually washed that since august so it was a really uh satisfying wash that color is called wolf gray. It stays relatively clean, so it doesn't look bad when it's dirty, but um, the Telluride looks really, really good now that I finally got a chance to wash it up and, and uh, give it a good cleaning. But we're going to get the STI done today, and uh, I'm looking forward to washing this since this is very dirty, although it looks pretty clean on camera. But, um, you know, if you get up close and see the uh, rear of the car, you can see just how dirty it actually is. So you can see back here, it's it's pretty dirty. I've been driving it. Uh, a lot at least as much as I can. Let's put it this way. I haven't washed the SDI since before I got the new wheels on so it's been nearly two months and uh, It definitely needs a good wash uh, a little bit of a pressure washer update uh, Absolutely love this thing. Like I said, this is the active uh, 1.0 the first version They have the 2.0 out now. I do think the 1.0 looks better. It looks a little bit cleaner in my eyes The 2.0 is a little funky looking. It's got that huge yellow 2.0 on the outside to me this just looks a little bit cleaner although the 2.0 i've heard performs a little bit better so i guess that's what it's all about but either way i'm really happy with the setup and um it is much quieter than my old greenworks which i have over here so if anybody is interested in it uh, let me know i got the stock uh, hose and everything that comes with it i don't have the gun that came with the greenworks I end up using this one which i never used the greenworks one i think i ended up throwing it out because i never used it so if anybody's interested, let me know. So I was doing some research and everything and I wanted to eventually get a uh, pressure washer reel for right here. So I don't have to do the whole entire roll up on the little L bracket there and just make it look much cleaner. Then I kind of went down the rabbit hole in Obsessed Garage 
and they have a whole entire wall mounting kit for this. It's like a thousand bucks. You get a nice stainless steel shelf, you get the Cox hose reel, you get a nice pressure washer hose, and you get a nice Mosmatic uh, pressure washer gun and wand and everything. And I'm also picking up the Mosmatic pressure washer uh, gun holder thing. So over the top, but it's one of those things I'm going to do it anyway when I eventually get the Krenzla. So I figured I would just upgrade that stuff now. I haven't pulled the trigger just yet, but I'm uh, pretty sure that is the route I'm gonna go. So I'll be doing a whole video on uh, that whole setup once I get it in. This is just a temporary setup. It doesn't look that pretty with no sheetrock or anything really there. So bear with me, but I'm kind of just working through it. And then eventually once I kind of get the setup that I want, I'll eventually sheetrock and make it look good. But I like the spot since it's uh, nice and tucked away, it doesn't get in the way. And um, yeah, it works for me. So let's go ahead, let's get started on the STI. Uh, I'm going to try and do a wash and talk a little bit as I'm cleaning up the car. We're gonna start on the wheels kind of work our way around and uh, finally get this thing looking good. All right, so I have been battling with the new pressure washer for the past two hours. I put my green works back up on the shelf. Had to get some more fittings to get that to work with the new shelf. And uh, I gotta look into as to why the active, for some reason, worked totally fine the other day. And now is not working. I mean, it's working, but the problem that I'm having is it's turning on and off every second because there's a leak somewhere. I took it apart, opened it up, and it looks like the pump on the inside, the seal, is leaking like crazy. This is literally the second time I've ever used it. So I don't know what's going on, but put the green works back up just for now. Kind of disappointing. Kind of makes me just want to go all out and get the proper Krenzla so I don't run into these issues. But hey, I guess that's part of the uh, whole process of figuring things out, you know? But I don't know. Now I'm kind of in a rush to get this done, which I didn't want to do, but here we are. It's kind of one of those things like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Never had an issue with my green work for four years, not a single issue. Second day I used the nearly $300 Active <laughs> and I got issues. So, feels good to be watching the STI again. Granted, I'm only I've done the first wheel, or I'm just doing the first wheel right now, but it's nice to wash this again. It's been a while, as I mentioned. Also, this is the first time I'm washing these wheels. These are not ceramic coated, as my other sets were, so those are a little bit easier to clean, but hey, you know, getting through it. <laughs> I do like these wheels a lot. The offset is just really weak. Their uh, stock spec, well, they're 18 by eight and a half plus 50. Um, stock spec is 18 by eight and a half plus 55, but I have a 20 millimeter spacer on here, so it's plus 30, so it's not too bad. I could dial out a lot more camber to get them to fit a little bit better, but I'm not looking to do that right now. Plus it drives totally fine. So in my last video, a lot of people liked the idea of me keeping the STI and selling the truck for a uh, you know a project car. Definitely a viable option. But the past few days I've been driving the truck and I'm like, man, this thing's great. <laughs> but it is nice to have those options and, and um, kind of see which one works best. At least for me and my lifestyle and all that. But having an SDI and like a Type R or 911 or something would be 
pretty darn cool combo. But it is winter time right now, so you know the market is really soft. There's not much out there. A few things pop up, but it's nothing really worthwhile. We'll see what happens in the springtime. Usually that's when a lot of cars pop up. The market kind of opens back up. A lot of people don't like selling in the colder months because they don't like to wash the cars and stuff. So we'll see what happens, but maybe something will pop up and I'll have to jump on it. But it's still nice to have the truck and the STI at the same time. It's a good combo. And even though the STI is somewhat stock looking on the exterior, it's still really fun to drive. Man, it's crazy. Even just having the wheels clean completely changes the look of the car. And now it doesn't really look much different on camera, but overall, it's uh, I haven't seen these wheels clean. <laughs> so they look pretty good. I like the gloss black. And uh, there's the Greenworks pressure washer back up. It's on the shelf. Then I got a 90 degree to fit against the wall uh, because I had different brackets up there to hold this one up prior. I got to clean it up and everything. I did it really quickly because uh, I just wanted to get the wash started. Uh, but hey, it works. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, rinse down the car real quick. I'm in a little bit of a rush since I got some other arrangements to do later in the day. And uh, all the time that I kind of scheduled out to get this done, I was busy working on that thing over there. So. Let me go ahead and uh, rinse it down and then we'll get to wash it. All right, let's do something a little bit different. Let's do a little POV foaming action. Alright, so the foam has been running for about five, seven minutes or so. So let's go ahead and start washing. I usually start on the roof and work my way down. I know I've done a million of these, but it's always good to remind some people or let people know just exactly what I do because everybody always has questions every time I wash my car. <laughs> and then uh, I'll go to the other side and I'll flip the mitt just to reduce the amount of or the chance of scratching and swirling as much as possible. But man, I love this soap. This is a uh, Kotchemi GSF. I love this soap. It's expensive, but I like it better than Adams. It foams up better. It feels slicker on the paint. And it seems to do a pretty good job. So I'll be sticking with it. Sorry, in a little bit of a rush hate rushing, especially washing a car. I feel like I don't do as good of a job as I normally do. So, still comes out nice, but for how long I haven't washed the STI, I was hoping to really get some time to do it. But, you know, that's life. Just gotta keep moving. Don't dwell on it and, uh, you know, just get, get it done. <laughs> So it's pretty crazy. It's like 50, almost 60 degrees out right now in December, or January now, which is very nice. I'm used to freezing and snow and everything. So getting this unseasonably warmer couple days has been really nice after we had crazy, crazy cold 
New Jersey the past week or so. Alright guys, so I got the STI rinsed off, ready to go. I'm going to throw some drying aid on here and dry the car off. Uh, like I said, I'm in a rush, so I'm going to catch back up with you guys later tonight when I'm kind of finishing off the car and uh, doing all the door jams and stuff like that. But I at least want to get it dried, so uh, I'm going to do that off camera super quick because, uh, like I said, <laughs> I'm in a rush and I need to get this done. So I will catch back up with you guys in a little while. Man, I just wanted to show the car. Got it all dried up. Looks fantastic. I wanted to show it just because it's in the daylight now and once we're uh, the next clip is going to be in the nighttime with the door closed so figured I would just show it real quick how clean this thing looks I haven't seen it this clean in a long time looking pretty darn good it's amazing uh, what ceramic will do and how much better or easier it is to clean up a car when it's properly cared for all right guys so quite a few hours later as you can see it's nighttime now I got all the family things done so now I'm back in the garage uh, with the intentions of finishing the STI, which I haven't yet because I've been messing around with this thing. <laughs> uh, I was determined to get it to work. I was trying different fittings and different ways to kind of configure it and everything. I even went to the level of taking all the connections off and just using the stock hose, the stock gun and everything, and it still was having that surging issue. <laughs> is unfortunate because I thought maybe it was just a seal in one of my hoses or something like that but um, it seems to be leaking from the pump on the inside at least that's what I can gather um, because I'm using everything that active supplies you with and unfortunately it seems like something is wrong with the pump no idea why which is crazy because it worked completely fine when I did the Telluride and then the uh, next day when I went to wash the STI we had that issue. So we did reach out to Active um, and we'll see what they can do. So hopefully they can warranty it because uh, it's not that old. It's only a couple months old, six months old, eight months old, something like that. So hopefully they can uh, fix that up. But as of right now, the $60 Greenworks 2000 PSI pressure washer over here reigns supreme. Again, I've had this thing for like four years and I've never had a single issue. Really messy with the wires and the hoses and everything, but hey, it works and uh, you know, it shoots foam like crazy and I have no issues with it. So we will be using that for now until we can get some answers from Active. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. It's kind of crazy, you know, that like I said, that was 60 bucks. This is almost $300, so. So the main reason why I wanted to try out the Active was just to see if upgrading uh, to a better pressure washer was worth it but as we can tell I don't think it is at the moment unless we can get it fixed up and um, you know working right but I don't know I don't know if I should just bite the bolt and go with the uh, AR blue or the full-on Krenzla from uh, obsessed garage which is crazy because it's like three thousand bucks to do the full uh, entire thing at least the way that I want to do it so I don't know <laughs> we will see for now, the $60 one is doing just fine. But all right, let's get back to the STI. So before I left you guys, I dried the entire car off. I used the uh, leaf blower and got on all the cracks and everything. And then I dried the car with the Obsessed Garage drying aid, which is what I normally do after every wash. It's just kind of a topper on top of the uh, ceramic coating. It just makes it last longer. Plus the gloss looks pretty darn amazing. So uh, what I need to do now is do all the door jams get under the engine bay, kind of clean that up a little bit. Do a quick wipe down in the interior, do the tires, 
uh, and the windows and we should be done. So let's go ahead, let's get this wrapped up because I am beat from working on these things for the past couple days and uh, I just wanna see a clean STI, so. All right, so for the door jams, what I normally do is just get my door jam towel and some obsessed garage drying aid or bead maker or whatever you use for your drying aid, spray the towel and then kind of just wipe it down. The reason why I do that is because there's residual water in the door jam. So as soon as you move the car or drive it, all this water kind of just comes out and you can get some water spots on the uh, uh, door sills and everything. Plus there's dirt that kind of sticks in there. So I always do uh, a quick wipe down with um, some obsessed garage drying aid as well as the microfiber towel. So Super simple, and uh, I do that around the entire car, so the trunk, the hood as well, as well as the gas cap area, and um, it stays looking good all the time. So let's go ahead and wipe it down. And the age old question, how do I keep my engine bay so clean? I've answered this a million times before, but the same exact technique, just use my door jam microfiber towel with some uh, obsessed garage drying aid and literally just wipe everything down, nothing crazy. All right, engine bay done. So now let's move over to the interior. So I'm just going to grab uh, some PNS interior cleaner and I'm gonna grab my interior towels. And it's the same concept. Spray the uh, product onto the towel then just wipe down all the plastics and everything. I usually stay away from the Alcantara with this stuff. I usually just do all the plastics and um, kind of the dash and all that stuff. Really, really simple. Uh, I necessarily don't need it all the time, but um, I haven't washed it in a while. So I figured now is a good time just to do a quick wipe down. All right, last, well, second to last step, we're gonna do the glass. So get the glass cleaner, and then my glass cleaner waffle weaves right here. And we're gonna go around, do exterior and interior. Let's go ahead and get the glass done, and we can move on to the tires. All right, so I did a quick little vacuuming on the inside, obviously. Uh, didn't really need it much, but just kind of uh, cleaned up some debris and everything. The driver's side was a little bit dirtier since obviously I was driving the car, but I mean, it's crazy how clean this car stays because, <laughs> well, A, I don't drive it as much as I used to, and also uh, I just stay on top of it. And that's another thing people always ask me, how come you wash your car so much? And the main reason is because it's so much easier to stay on top of the cleanliness of the car if you just stay on top of it. You, you just do normal, regular maintenance washes because if you don't do it for a long, long time and it gets really dirty, people get discouraged, they don't wanna do it and it's just you know a lot more work than they wanna do so they end up never doing it. But if you stay on top of it and just do you know kind of the maintenance washes every once in a while, um, you know, it stays clean and uh, the actual cleanup is relatively easy. There's no leaves or debris or anything in the jams. It's super simple. Everything stays nice and clean. And plus, uh, it's a good way to stay on top of the car in terms of the overall, you know, scratches and anything new that may have happened. And also, I just enjoy it so much. But I haven't dressed these tires at all. These are from the previous owner. Um, so I don't know how the dressing is gonna take. I don't like a really wet or glossy uh, dressing. I just like something that looks matte and just kind of a nice dark black finish. And um, you know what I use seems to do the trick. I've been using Adams VRT for many years. I usually put a decent amount on uh, at first and then I go around and wipe down the excess. 
and it leaves a really nice finish. So let's go ahead, let's do that. And then we can finally call this wash complete. All right, guys, so that is going to wrap up the wash of the STI. First wash in uh, two and a half months or so, <laughs> and it turned out awesome. Really happy with the overall cleanliness, and uh, I'm, I'm really liking this color of the wheels. I never thought I would like black wheels again on this car, but with the brake kit behind there, I think it looks great. And, um, yeah, I mean, the paint is amazing. It really, really cleans up nice. I said this like a 100 times, but... Uh, but yeah, hopefully we can get the active uh, power washer to work and then we can um, go ahead and order the large accessory kit from Obsessed Garage to get it looking nice over there. A couple things coming up. I'm still waiting on the brackets for the rails for the truck. Um, so once those come in, we can get them on there. And uh, I think I'm actually going to throw the Recaros back into the STI. In the meantime, I can't stand these things just sitting here. I love these seats so much. And when I drive this car, I have the stock seats in there, as you guys know, and uh, I absolutely hate these seats. <laughs> so I might just throw the cars back in there in the meantime. And, um, you know, while I'm deciding what to do next, uh, you know, it's an easy kind of install and removal as well. So I might just put them back in there so I can enjoy the car at least for the time that I do have it and possibly for the indefinite future. Um, you know, if I decide to hang on to it forever. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, I probably do that in another video, throw them back in and then uh, enjoy the car some more. But yeah, that's gotta wrap up this video. Uh, I may be doing an update for you guys as to what modifications I may be doing for version 2.0. My plan is to do an entire series on it all, just go through everything that I plan on getting and um, you know, it's all gonna come in at once as opposed to doing it one by one or it's just gonna be a giant kind of overhaul in a couple videos to get it back up to where I want it. So when or if that does happen, I will be sure to update you guys, but as for this one, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all about the car, the power washer, anything else at all, be sure to ask them below. But in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.